you go ahead and come on over when you're ready. All right, everybody. Me, friend. If you've ever watched The Bachelor or The Bachelorette before, you've likely heard the phrase, uh, here for the right reasons. Contestants are constantly questioned whether they are here for the right reasons, meaning on the show, actually willing to give the person who's The Bachelor or The Bachelorette a chance and perhaps fall in love with them. The right reasons does not include uh, the desire to uh, reach social media fame. Although many of these contestants, whether they win or not, do, gain millions of followers on Instagram and other social media platforms. So this ad today, which I'm going to be proving is a piece of social rhetoric, is something, I just wanted to use something that you'd see maybe on their everyday basis. A lot of people have Instagram and you often people follow people like this if they watch The Bachelor and were interested in this contestant. So uh, this ad that can just look like another Instagram post is actually an app, is actually in a feed and it can be viewed by millions of followers. So in order for you to understand how this artifact fulfills the definition of social rhetoric, today I'm gonna to be talking about how it shapes knowledge and assists in advocacy. So first to reveal how this post is actually social rhetoric, I'm gonna be talking about how it shapes knowledge. So in this picture, this is Amanda Stanton and she was a contestant from Ben Higgins uh, season of The Bachelor and she also appeared later on Bachelor in Paradise. And in this picture, uh, which is the first part of the post, on Instagram it has a picture and words, so it uses the imagery and the language as symbols. And this is the picture. It, it shows Amanda Stanton sitting on a, what looks like her bathroom counter, and she has a face mask on, and then bottles of the product right there on her counter and in her hand. And so she's using rhetoric in this way to prove that this product works and that she actually uses it. So the picture proves that she actually uses it. It says, look, I'm actually wearing it. Yeah, it works. And then the caption goes on to claim that it actually works. So in this caption, she even goes as far as to list the ingredients that are used in this BioClarity mask, that's the brand. Um, she uses claims as if it, that it is nourished and given her glowy skin. Um, she, she shapes the knowledge of the viewer of this ad by claiming that the product can smooth her skin, so therefore, why couldn't it smooth yours? Second, to reveal how this artifact is an example of social rhetoric, I'm going to be talking about how it exists, or how it assists in advocacy. Um, because of her fame from her bachelor, her appearance on the Bachelor franchise, many of her followers are female, ranging in age. Um, so likewise, BioClarity, this skincare line, is trying to sell to women of the same age. So they have similar audiences, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that an, a company like BioClarity would want to market to the same audience and use Amanda Stanton to post one of their ads. So they're trying to get uh, viewers of hers to buy their face masks and products. And so the company is advocating that it is actually a value to have skin that looks good. It is uh, nourished, glowing, and smooth looking skin. And by posting this partnership, it, uh, you can infer that Amanda is also advocating this idea of importance of beauty, especially for young and middle-aged women. The caption also at the bottom even has promo codes, which allow a viewer to get a discount on these products if they were to buy them. And so she is advocating by posting this that one goes out and buys these products. And so by posting this on her social media, she is uh, assisting in advocacy by taking her personal opinion, whether that's paid for or not. And you can see it as a paid partnership. So bought or not, she's making that public. Mm -hmm. And she's advocating on behalf of the company. Um, and if followers do decide to use her promo code and purchase these products, the post is succeeding in its persuasion and its call to action because people are responding with action. So in conclusion, this post is this post and this ad are social rhetoric because it shapes knowledge and assists in advocacy. Mm -hmm. And so the next time you watch The Bachelorette, maybe you think that the people who are on The Bachelor are there for the right reasons, whether that be falling in love or looking for a way to make money using a little thing called social rhetoric. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.